All right, he just came to take some pictures of it in a park nearby. Oh, part of me's like, oh no, I don't want to sell it, but another part of me knows I'll get another one in the future. Um, super different experience, but it's uh, the project here is to buy, sell, and make some money. So we'll stick with the project. What's going on guys? So as you can probably tell by the title, I am no longer the owner of the Suzuki DR650. I know, I know, it was a beautiful bike. I ended up following through with the purchase and sale move. And I wanna be transparent with you guys about what the numbers were, how it worked, and hopefully inspire someone to do it. Shout out to John's Moto Garage. Uh, it's a pretty dope channel. I think he's based out of Arizona and he has a series on flipping bikes. And this is something I plan to be doing throughout the year, hopefully. But basically on February 15th, I purchased a 2006 DR, Suzuki DR650 for 3,500. The, the owner had listed it for 4,000. I brought the price down to 3,500, told him to take his time. He took a week, he hit me back with 37. I said, sorry, I'm pretty firm on 35 couple more days and then he said fine let's do 35. remember february peak winter that's when it's a buyer's market fast forward it a few months left the bike stored didn't do a single thing to it i didn't even wash it and i took pictures the other day i took really good pictures i made sure i showed everything on the bike um really brought you know every angle you can see them here and with that i listed the bike and i think that Having a great description and great amount of photos, I was able to get over 2,000 or just about 2,000 views. As soon as I posted it on Facebook, I made sure I messaged all my friends to click save listing. I, I'm not sure if this is true or not, but it helps boost up the algorithm because it sees people are interested. Yeah, I got offers immediately. A lot of low balls and I had posted the bike for 5,250. So 5,250, knowing I wasn't gonna get all of that but trying to settle for something close to 5,000. I got a lot of 4,000 offers in the first two days, three days. Kept saying, no, I wasn't in a rush. I wasn't in a rush. I got a lot of trade offers, which is kind of cool, but I'm, like I said, I decided I was gonna make money off of this. Then the offers started coming in at 4,500. You know, they started creeping up. I made an update on the post saying my best offer sits at 4,600, which is pro tip. And um, finally someone messaged me, nice dude. Uh, offer 46, I said, hey, actually my best offer is 46, you need 47, he said, sure. And I told him I could deliver it. So this past week, I went ahead and sold the bike for 4,700 cash. Do a quick math, um, $1,200 profit on the bike. But the plan is now you take that 4,700 and it's your new budget to flip either a, a two bikes or one bike. Right now it's definitely a seller's market because it's summer in New England. People are super anxious to get out there. But there's still deals out there and you can always negotiate respectfully. And you know what I found is like, you know, being nice. Hey, how's it going? I like your bike, I can do. And then you may name your price, cash tomorrow. You show urgency with them, they're gonna be really receptive. So it feels really good to have done that. Something I would wanted to do for a while and hopefully I can um, keep doing it. Key is to be transparent, to be really detailed and to take more photos than you need. You can't take too many photos. There's no such thing when you're doing a listing. There is, however, too little photos. So uh, yeah, you also don't want anyone lowballing you when they arrive. Good with the description. You show any dent, any scratch as your last photo, right? Show them all the beautiful things first. Uh, pick a nice spot too. Pick a spot that's like kind of beautiful, you know? Yeah, Craigslist. Craigslist is kind of trash nowadays and they charge me five bucks to post it. So I'll take that off of my final profit. It was 11,900. One thousand one hundred ninety-five was my total profit because that five-dollar Craigslist post. But all I did was get like two scammers trying to get me to buy VIN reports. And that's another thing: if someone asks you to buy a VIN report, stop it. Stop answering them. It's fake. So next time, I probably won't even post on Craigslist. Just use Facebook Marketplace because it's a lot more engaging. Facebook boosts it. You get more traffic there. They want people on their app, so they 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 put good listings out there. So that has been my experience. And um, I don't know, I hope this inspires someone to give it a try. I'll keep you guys posted on the next one. Yes, yeah, thanks so much for watching.